Hey guys, it's Andy, uh, andybaker.com, Baker Barbell Club. We are right in the middle of a, uh, of a shoulder tricep workout. We are uh, second exercise of the day. We just got done with uh, a bunch of heavy presses. So on to uh, floor presses is our second exercise of the day. Floor presses uh, are a great exercise. I like to program them a couple different ways. Um, you can either do them as a max effort movement on your bench day in place of your regular bench press. Uh, they can be done for heavy singles, heavy triples, heavy sets of five, um, however you want to do it. Uh, you can use them as a supplemental movement after you bench press, um, or you can do it on a separate day from when you bench press, which is how we typically do them um, a lot of times after we press. So it's a good, um, it's a good supplemental movement. It's, it's, uh, Mirrors the bench press obviously, allows you to do some heavy weight, overloads the triceps, and it's just a, a very awkward way uh, to bench press, but doing heavy weights awkwardly is what part of what makes you strong. So um, we're going to demonstrate, uh, a set, this is our fifth set of five um, after pressing on the floor press. A couple of tips, there's a couple different ways to do these. You can do them feet out in front of you flat, or you can do them with your knees bent and feet flat on the floor. Um, I prefer my knees bent with my feet flat on the floor. Um, however, if you find yourself, if you find that you like to cheat when you do that, in other words, you like to drive your feet into the floor and bridge your hips up, then you can keep, make sure that these stay strict by just keeping your legs out straight out in front of you, uh, having your whole leg flush with the floor, and that's a little bit harder. Uh, otherwise, the mechanics are similar to the bench. You're still gonna try to keep an arch in your back, try to keep your shoulder blades tucked up underneath you. Um, and then, um, other than that, we want a nice, good pause on the bench. Uh, or on the floor, we don't want to be, we don't want to be coming down and bounce, trying to do any kind of bouncing or anything like that. It's a good way to uh, injure your wrist. And I also like to use a pair of wrist, always use a pair of wrist wraps on these. You've got your forearm wedge between a heavy barbell and the floor, and so you want to have some little bit of compression on the wrist just to keep them safe and keep them healthy. So I always use wrist wraps when I floor press. Try to do them inside the cage with the pins set up in a position where if you fail, which you will fail if you do enough floor pressing, um, that I can just kind of rotate my hands forward and dump the bar down on the pins uh, so I'm not trapped underneath the bar and have to catch the barbell on my ribs or on my stomach. So uh, make sure that you're set up and can do these safely uh, if you're gonna try them, especially if you don't have a spotter. So anyway, fifth set, five by five workout. <clears throat> 